Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Spar and Brawl. I hope you're having a decent day. As always, I'm joined by my partner in crime, Sam, and we're back with another midweek episode updates or filming a few short videos today. Not a progressive world, but just a few short videos that we're going to update separately. All right, Sam, let's get <laughs> let's get right into this. Tell me what's been going on. You've been following the Amber Heard Johnny Depp case much more closely, although since our last video, and I've, I've also been following it, but yeah, not I haven't watched like you know some of the six or seven hour long videos, but I've been watching some stuff. But yeah, so how's it going there? So a quick announcement: <laughs> we are pivoting to becoming a legal show, <laughs> and it's a legal slash psychology show. Man, it's it's been a blast. It's been generally yeah. uh, the like it's the best way to get away from Ukraine. Basically, so it's been a blast <laughs> just uh, reading about this. Although, like, I, I was very morally sort of in the middle mm -hmm. last time about the fact that I feel disgusted following celebrity news and personal news of others. But at the same time, they did the whole, they bring it out to public and sued each other. So, they, like, the purpose of the thing is to clear their name in public or not. Mm -hmm. So, like, I guess it's fair enough to talk about it, I think. Definitely. I think so, too. And I also like when it comes to these kind of things, I think at the level, at the type of the issue and the level of the at the level of the issue, you know, I mean, if this was, you know, full, you know, domestic violence going on or things like that or children involved like the Epstein one or other crimes yeah, yeah, like this, you know, you you want to stay away from it. But I mean, this a they brought it on themselves. You're right. She wrote the op-ed. So we're just giving our opinion following that. You know, she started off this cycle. And secondly, wherever you fall on the issue, I mean, it seems it's nothing to be joyful. That's not what I'm saying. But there are issues and there are issues. And that's kind of how I go over it in my head. I don't know if you think of that. Like, for instance, the Epstein story. I mean, you know, I never if I don't have something very useful to say about it, which I didn't, I didn't wanted to be a story to to talk about a lot or there was a very sad tragedy in in the football world last week where again i didn't think it was like useful for me to come and say it and at the same time since it was such a huge tragedy no. I, I didn't want to talk about it so it, that's that's how i kind of think about these things i don't know about you i think epstein is a bad example though. epstein is a political one i think it's fair enough no, no. to talk about it's absolutely it's fair enough it's absolutely fair enough and if i had and something fun. Couldn't, that that's where that's where i don't like to, that's where i don't find that one to be fun. very funny no very if you funny. break it down into alan parts, show it's going no. to sex parties listen if you that's compartmentalize it i got you if you compartmentalize the different parts it can be fun but the main underlying issue was, you know, such a, you know, such a tragedy and travesty no, that if, since I never really had anything that useful to say, I just kind of stayed away from it, more or less. If not, it's 100% fair game. Everything's fair game, <laughs> to be almost. Yeah, everything's fair game. But, 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 but I would say, like, my main thing is mostly, like, it's not really, in, like, it's not, like, important in a sense that, not that anything else, like as if whenever we talk about climate change, we're going to have such a big effect. But, you know, yeah, I, it's kind of like you feel a bit shallow, whatever. But it was it's uh. it was amazing, man. And yeah, it, it it's so fun. It, it's been I don't know. What have you seen? What are your I've seen quite uh, a bit. I've, have you been quite a bit? I've been listening. So, you know, what's been going on since the 25th of this week? So not last week. So starting Monday, I've been listening that that lady with the amazing channel emily d baker that you you told me about i was listening Ooh. about her stuff man she's going to become i was just telling you right now she's going to become a millionaire by the end <laughs> by I the end so. of yeah. the poor the poor lady was having internet issues during her live stream but she didn't want to reset it because she had seventeen thousand people watching live <laughs> so she kept on saying guys i need to reboot oh, but i don't know there's seventeen thousand. <laughs> I don't know what she did at the end, but man, 17,000 watching her live four hour stream, like hundred thousands of views. And send some of that, that money was, this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, we have to pivot to a legal, like 
I'll go to court houses, cover, you know, people's domestic problems and all that. It's going to be fantastic. But, uh, but okay, let's oh, get one into of it. Our, uh, one yeah. of our viewers, one of our viewers said that uh, her sister or friend yeah, already, works down Yeah, already said that. Well, his all sister right, works oh. at court case. We'll get into that. Nice. So I forgot to mention, we have some viewer comments. Uh, about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard story from the last one we did. So we're going to discuss those at the end. But okay, Sam, let's get really into it. And folks, please like and subscribe. But yeah, what have been some of the main things that have caught your attention? Well, it's been really fun, man. It's been <laughs> really fun. And I, I watched a lot of Johnny Depp stuff that he... Uh, uh, and I did a whole deep dive into the thing. Yeah, tell us. Again, I'm a feminist, but in this specific case, definitely it's... a. Uh, Definitely, it uh, seems Amber Heard is the, like manipulate. I mean, who know? I'm who, like, uh, who, unless you're there in the room with these people, you can never know hundred percent. But the evidence, man, is so just so much just in favor of joining them. And then uh, the lawyers, man, her lawyers are like, okay, I get that. You know, the audience of the lawyers yeah. are not us. Yeah, is the jury, and the jury will have a different point of view but i i genuinely think they're coming across as extremely awful both yeah. like in terms of just ability and yeah. in terms of just uh, like they, they're coming across as so mean and i have some examples mm, the mean stuff not good For, based on my elizabeth trial <laughs> understanding the mean stuff elizabeth. you have to be very careful and Elizabeth, yeah. are, are you on the first name basis? <laughs> what can I say? Sorry, <laughs> Elizabeth Holmes, Theranos. Now, that's one hell of a fun story. Uh, but what's it called? Uh, yeah, so I mean, I heard the whole thing about the makeup. You know, I was listening to that. But I guess perhaps Amber Heard started that. So the lawyers maybe followed up. And then I love how this company apparently came on TikTok and announced. I mean, everybody should Listen cut a check to, this, to Johnny yeah. Depp at the end of this trial because I think he's making a lot of yeah, people and companies a lot of, a lot of money. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, but Listen to this. Makeup brand. This is from People Magazine. And yes, I because of this, I had to read People Magazine. <laughs> Makeup brand refutes. Instead of The Atlantic, we're going to do uh, readings from the People Magazine from... <laughs> Makeup brand refutes that Amber Heard used its concealer to cover bruises. Heard sources comment. Uh, so, yeah, they said there's this Milani brand uh, concealer that she, because th there's all these pictures of her with bruises, mm. but then next day she does an interview and there's no bruises. So, you know, obviously people are like, hmm. Yeah. And then uh, they were like, this is a concealer from Milani or whatever. And she used that because uh, she like it happened so often, so often. Johnny Depp, somebody who has never in his life, like uh, been violent to anyone, apparently. But uh, nicest man, everybody comes up and says, yeah, he's the sweetest man ever. He helped me, you know, rescue my cat one time. You know, uh, uh, so yeah, she said it happened so often that she had to use this. But then the company came out and said that the specific concealer they mentioned which again why would you like that's one of the like I, the lawyers they suck because the lawyer takes it up and mentions the thing yeah. why would you mention it it's such a go to just say she used the concealer why do you have to that's do the thing right she, they took it too far and made it too specific yeah and the company came out and said well that's that that is specific type yeah was produced like a year after the divorce or something maybe I, she got maybe uh, she got like a promotional like tryout kind of thing you know? yeah yeah <laughs> it was a, yeah <laughs> but her response has been a source close to her tells people her lawyer lawyer was using an example of the kind of makeup that she that she used so that's obviously that's what they're going to say but it was very like you know it's very very Ah, they, it's very I, like they're amateurs, man. There is one bit that is gone viral, and I saw there's this great channel, Legal Eagle, mm -hmm. which is this lawyer guy who, uh, by the way, he does great breakdowns of uh, it's always epi it's always sunny episodes where they do the law thing. You know when they have yeah, the of whole course, law. bird law, <laughs> bird law, yeah, bird law is discussed so much in Legal Eagle, and you know when they do the whole McCoy versus uh, Paddy's pop thing. 
Oh where yeah, they yeah. go to court with the clan. McCoy was it? I, I don't vaguely know, remember. Weird that brothers who <laughs> oh, okay, okay. drink milk. Yeah, <laughs> and then Legal Eagle uh, covers that. So, but anyway, apparently, according to him, what I'm saying is more common than people uh, think it is. But there is one bit where the lawyer objects to his own question. Doctor Kipper told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, objection! Here's hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Okay. Like to the answer to his own question. <laughs> so he asks one, one of the people who works for Johnny Depp about, does he know how did Johnny Depp's finger got damaged? Yeah. And he says that I was told by Dr. Kipper or whatever his name is, blah, blah. And he says, objection, objection. <laughs> because, I mean, the problem apparently according to Legal Legal was the question because the question mm-hmm. was vague. It had to be like, did you see or did you uh, know for yourself, not somebody telling you. So there is a great level of incompetency at display from Amber Heard's lawyer. Wow. Right? They suck, man. Yeah. It's, How is that possible? I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe it's a strategy, like they're targeting jury in a way. I don't understand. And- like there is one bit where the guy is just reading like news articles about Johnny Depp that, you know, are very negative about him and his drug use and his career and all that. And then Johnny Depp is taking it in very good manners. And he's because all he says is that, like, I this is from People magazine. Johnny Depp sucks and he's the worst actor. Did I read that correctly, Mr. Depp? And Johnny Depp is like, yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. You're very good at reading. You're fantastic at reading. It's just, it feels like they are such bad people. Like, they come across as the, the worst. They, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm going to talk about, do, do, like, I think I should let you talk a bit. And then... No, 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 no. This is, this is great. I was just going to say one or two things. So this, this can remind me, this last point that you said, is kind of, I mean, the strategy, I was listening a little bit to the person I just um, mentioned. Oh. Yeah, M- yes. And she was saying, I mean, you know, all the Amber Heard team wants to kind of do now is just show that that Washington Post uh, op-ed was like very vague. So, I mean, you can't say that we're the reason why he's not getting any more movies or X, Y and Z. I mean, that's all they're trying to prove. Now, that's the funny part. It's not like no, she hasn't taken him thing. to court I over, don't... you know, to prove the rest of the line. Now she's like in such a defensive defensive mode given that he's brought it on and and for him like i said in the last one it seems like i mean they can just cut the trial short now i mean he technically won i mean just won. send everybody home unless you know she comes up unless her team comes up with some evidence but yeah and i was yeah, looking at his yeah. imdb by the way remind me to tell you about that after oh but okay. yeah it mentioned no, the strategy I, I, that i said if you want to no no the strategy that's the thing yeah like at the end of the time when the guy was reading all these awful like headlines uh, of johnny depp at the end the lawyer did that that he said and you know mr johnny depp that this uh, jury's only task at this trial is to determine whether this article led to like financial damages to your career mm-hmm. and all, all that he says that yes but the whole, like, the way they design the thing is yeah. designed as if they're attacking Johnny Depp because he's, like, dr- he uses drugs. Yeah. And it, the whole thing feels, th- like, it doesn't feel like they're following that strategy. It feels like they're trying, like, the, the one I wanted to talk about, they bring in this amazing forensic psychologist, which I had no idea was a thing, which we should definitely get into. I think that's <laughs> another thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's fantastic. <laughs> Sign she me was up. so cool. Yeah, man, she was so cool. She was this. I don't know. I think forensic psychologist is like answerable to court or to public health officials or something. Because there's one really cool bit where uh, uh, she says, uh, the lawyer lady says that uh, you are working for Mr. Depp uh, or something. And she says, no, I would like to clarify that I was I was hired by Mr. Depp's counsel, like, uh-huh. you know, very, uh, and then she, at some other point, she says something that uh, unless, I think the lawyer says, oh, you do realize that unless you didn't uh, uh, diagnose Amber Heard with this, you wouldn't be in the court today. 
And she says, my responsibilities are to the public and to the health, to the court and to the health officials and all. It's really, man, it felt a few good many. I was like, you can't handle the truth. You know, I was just waiting for that. But uh, yeah, like when she's on, she's very professional and she's very, I thought her uh, answers were very good. And Amber Heard lawyers, whole thing is like this mean girl sort mm-hmm. of so you're not a board certified psychologist are you <laughs> and she's like no i'm a licensed clinical psychologist i'm not board certified and you've been only practicing for seven years and then she and they get it all wrong as well and she's like no i actually i've been practicing for 15 uh, but yes i'm like you know they keep trying Jesus, to do this sort of serious on their mind yeah it's so weird and what's it's the so point weird. of like, that and they get, Unless they want to just like to, damage his reputation mind. more. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, undermine her there. And then, man, the thing is, like, if you get it right, at least, whatever. <laughs> like, you get everything wrong. You've been only practicing for five years. No, it's actually 10. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the, the lady has to, can't pronounce a lot of words, which is fair enough. But, you know, uh, just uh, uh, it's very, the whole yeah. thing seems very... Uh, uh, very, and then there is like this thing that the psych, psychologist lady or psychiatrist lady uh, had an interview and then after interview they had a dinner and you know drinks yeah after she met with Johnny Depp's team like and they she keeps bringing back that up that so before you actually made your decisions or you were hired you had dinner and drinks with Mr. Depp and she's like Dinner was served, and I, I don't know, maybe there were drinks too. Uh, no, but you had dinner. I don't, didn't you find that weird that you had dinner and drinks with? Like, what are you trying to imply? What is the thing? It's really weird, man. I think, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I guess trying to say that, to yeah. prove, uh, that the article has not damaged. Why don't you just focus on the fact that the article and why are you focusing? And then, like, they get into nitty gritty of, but you never have, you, okay, you've been practicing for seven years, but have you ever ha- uh, testified regarding an issue involving, like, domestic abuse? Have you ever done borderline personality disorder? Like, it gets really, like, yeah, I they suck. I, I yeah. think they suck. I don't know. And to me, it seems like Amber Heard, the only victory for her is to actually win the trial. Because if she wins the trial, at least the headlines would be like, Amber Heard, you know, wins against Johnny Depp. And a lot of people are probably not but even they, then, I think. But I'm saying that's the only one that she can that she can get. You know, whereas him, he can win or lose. That's one thing. But also just restoring his reputation in a loss would be enough. Because I mean, yeah, I was looking at his IMDB. So maybe this is because of scheduling, but no really. And you know so much more about movies. So I mean, just listen to this for a second. So like in 2016, he did one, two, three. Let's go back to 2015, okay? 2015, he did one, two, three movies. 2016, one, two, three, four movies. 2017, one, two, three, four, five movies. 2018, one, two, three, four, five, six movies. 2019, one movie. 2020, one movie. For 2021 and 2022, he scheduled two TV miniseries and... And that's it. So, I mean, you know, sometimes, of no, course, it's it like, definitely, yeah, damaged. it's not Leonardo's IMDb. It's like damaged. Leonardo, he does like one movie and then it's like a year or two later. But him, you can clearly see he was on the trend of making multiple movies per year. That's kind of like how he was working. And now he, he's on he's, the one movie, barely like a TV series. <laughs> TV series. Maybe they're, they're counting the court case <laughs> there too. Yeah, he's, his IMDb, famous, you know? he's famously not a very like he does a lot of strange things with his money as well so i guess oh, yeah. he has to work more than do you remember this her. johnny um this sorry joe rogan interview that he did i vaguely remember like four years or three four years ago and like in it he was talking about like with his friends and stuff and like the bills that he has and like just the amount of money spent on wine and well like, famously yeah the he, wine one i like, remember was insane yeah, he did. and he has like I remember he has spent loads of money for Hunter S. Thompson's Ashes, the famous like uh, Gonzo journalist to be blown or something. I, oh yeah, a, I think I've heard cannon, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannon. yeah, something like I that. I said yeah, fireworks. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I yeah, it's he's a strange guy. He's certainly a strange guy. But yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Uh, but what else? Yeah, Anything I, I else? Agree. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the, the one thing, I, it's just it really, and I can't believe that these liars were so, like, there was <laughs> one built with the psychologist lady again. She said that, I, I don't remember the specific question, but it was like, uh, would you say, would you say this is that? And yeah. her answer was, no, I wouldn't frame it that way. And then she said, no, you, you're saying you wouldn't frame it that way? She said, no, I wouldn't, but it's possible. And then she's like, okay, let's go back to 25th of blah in your testimony in that. And then they go back and then she's like, look, read your answer from then. So you assume she's going to be like, oh, look at your answer. Then. Yeah. It's contradicting your answer now. And she's like, yeah, my answer then was no. And she's like, oh, okay. And it's like, what? <laughs> like, what? Well, she her answer is the same. So why did you check? <laughs> like, it's, man, that's so funny. It's, I feel like the lawyer is doing her homework <laughs> with us. Like, okay, let's Jesus. check if she's done the. It's, man, that's bad. That's <laughs> bad. They would have checked. You know what you just said? It kind of that's reminds the me. Feeling I got. Sometimes you read like an article or like a book or something, and like in your mind, you're already waiting. You're already like looking for that sentence that you're gonna be like, uh huh. Uh-huh. Did you write this? So you read it just once, and then you're like, excited, like, uh huh. I saw it. you come back, read it carefully. It's <laughs> it's like completely Different. the opposite, <laughs> or it doesn't say that at all. You're like, yeah. <laughs> so it mm. seems like that's what no, happened, yeah. maybe in this case. <laughs> I mean, it's the, the her team are, are they they don't seem to be very well not very good yeah uh, but but yeah yeah I can't but now she's gonna get she was supposed to be in Aquaman too and all that I think she's gonna get canceled I I'm thinking yeah, yeah. so if anything she's gonna now you know not gonna yeah, yeah miss on out a cancel culture <laughs> yeah. I must say though from little I found out about their personal life. I can't say I feel sorry for her. She's just awful, man. Awful. Like, did you hear about the Elon Musk thing and all that? Mm, I don't think so. Well, she apparently had a threesome. Oh, with yeah, Elon that, Musk yeah. And another <laughs> but why does that thing. make her bad? <laughs> and she's cheated. No, she, she was mad. She's man. It's so like while she was know, married to Johnny Depp. Well, yeah, oh, no. While she yeah, was yeah. married to Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She had a threesome with. Okay, okay. I Appa- didn't know. Apparently, apparently, and she had oh, yeah, an affair of course. with Elon Musk and James Franco. Oh, shit. So, yeah, man. It's <laughs> During true, those like, two years. <laughs> I mean, you, folks, what is, don't get yeah. married. <laughs> I'm not joking. Very <laughs> but, yeah, just yeah. pump the brakes. Pump the <laughs> Let's, yeah, establish a will. <laughs> Established kind of do you know I mean, the person's I mean, last name at the very least? <laughs> <for getting married. laughs> they should have asked the, the like spell each other's last name. For, okay, Amber, please spell Johnny's last name yeah. if, you, if you get it right. <laughs> yeah, but you, you you have to know uh, you know you yeah you like yeah. a ground rule one you have to like yeah. know each other's cousins yeah does he have any siblings <laughs> not how many not if they're younger older does he, does he have any siblings period <laughs> can you name them by name <laughs> not by like the older one <laughs> nah, yeah but yeah man it's so un- like jesus i felt so bad for Jerry. and now yeah. uh, in public and so many years and Jesus. Ugh. But man, he should be making a big comeback. Like, oh, this reminds me. How is I gonna forget? So, you know, I was um I was thinking that perhaps, like, you know, because we got a lot of favorable comments, right? On the video that we did on this, right? A lot of pro Johnny Depp comments on our video. And then I was looking in other places and I was like, you know, our audience is generally like 80% at times male like something around that ballpark and 20% woman I was like you know maybe a lot of the other stuff that we see are also male and you know so maybe in more female areas you know there's more like support for her and not that these things even make sense I was just trying to put it out then I check <laughs> our audience for that video and I mean wow you never see this 47% female and 52% male and we're going to look at some of the the comments that were left, I believe some of them were 
or from women. But so, so I mean, not that Matt, this is just a big thing, but I mean, again, it shows that you know the bias isn't even coming from that really. If you think about, it. I know this is one anecdotal um, evidence, but yeah, and of, and the videos, of course, engagement of uh, likes and things like this did uh, exact yeah ninety four point seven percent like the channel average ninety four point nine. So I mean, of course, this video got a lot of um, a lot more people who aren't our subscribers. So perhaps that makes sense. So yeah, this I mean, this is just like from one channel, one small video, a little anecdotal that the split doesn't seem to be like male, female, not that it should be like that. And not that I think like that, but still it was interesting to see the numbers. No, I, I and I would say, uh, to be honest, everybody I talked to, including my female friends, mm -hmm. Anybody, everybody is taking Johnny Depp's mm -hmm. side. And generally speaking, when it comes to Me Too issues, it's a cliche to think necessarily. Like I've spoken 100%. on loads of Me Too issues. A lot of ladies were ne not necessarily like uh, definitely we believe no. this side or that side. It's just yeah, 100%. It's very, uh, and yeah. she even has one thing going for Amber Heard is that I think people who aren't following the trial they think that it's actually perhaps her like bringing you know domestic violence charges on him so they they even start off with that extra like kind of setting of her really being this victim who's bringing these charges whereas the trial doesn't even have anything to do with that <laughs> she is the defendant rather than being the one who's who's bringing the case so she even probably benefits from that a little bit among people who aren't following the trial and don't know what the trial is actually about I mean, I, yeah, I don't know if there, if you have to be an Eskimo at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, what? What's good? My grandmother, I swear to God, my grandmother is like, yeah, Johnny Depp, what a good man. What a good man. My, my uh, he was abused by this lady. <laughs> I swear to God, my grandmother was like, yeah, yeah, that uh, Johnny Depp's friend, he seems like a really nice man. You know, the guy, the bald guy. Oh, that the, guy killed the painter it, man. Guy. That guy he killed it. He was the it. best. Yeah, he, he killed he, it. I, I'm sure his business is going to hopefully see a huge increase yeah. in, in interest. But even, yeah, like literally like an eight-year-old <laughs> lady in Tehran is like, yeah, he seemed like a good friend. He was telling the truth. <laughs> You do know who Johnny Depp is. <laughs> oh man! Oh damn. No, I don't know who do who doesn't know about this. And yeah, that at is this point, too I, funny. That is too uh, funny. Yeah, it's everybody's. Talk, I I genuinely feel it's a bit of a Ukraine exhaust exhaustion <laughs> thing. Ukraine and a bit COVID because uh, man, they fucking don't stop you. The Guardian and stuff yeah. every second, like. Jesus Christ, I, I was very much in favor of covering Yemen more, but not like this. Mm -hmm. Just stop. You're cr making people crazy. You lunatics like, oh, two meters, Ukrainians move two mm -hmm. meters to the right. Now Russians move two meters to the left. Yeah. Now this guy says that. Now that, uh, but, oh. you know, but it's also, Sorry. it's the camera thing, man. Like, what, what are differences? When can you have a camera? When can't you have a camera? Because, oh. for instance, the Elizabeth Holm trial, another trial that I've followed closely there were no cameras there there were just drawings of them and then there was the the podcast people who were there so they completely like uh, you know re had audio recordings even of that so you, you were allowed to record that one but yeah how come in this one they're just allowed to to film do you know I, what i do know is that there are different uh, rules for different courts mm -hmm. and Again, Boston legal people who think TV shows don't teach you anything. But I do know that from that TV show, I do know like Supreme Court in the US, it's a big conversation as well. And I think it, they should allow cameras in, but Supreme Court doesn't allow cameras in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the um, Supreme for Court, example, but yeah. They say it demeans the court. Mm -hmm. But the Elizabeth I, I Holmes one, for instance. Also, but I could, Elizabeth Holmes one, for instance, I'm wondering how come. That one wasn't, you know. Yeah, yeah. Allowed. I wonder. Maybe it's a federal court versus yeah. a state court. Maybe, maybe someone can let like, us know in the comments. Maybe it's to the ju judge decide because I do not judge can say that get out. Like mm. yeah, that is possible. Yeah, I googled it too, by the way, but mm, no, no satisfactory answers. No, at least I assume my it's a yeah. Uh, depending on the type of court mm -hmm. and judge's discretion, I assume, but I don't. 
<laughs> well, thank you to the judge as well. I feel like <laughs> a lot of people need to send out some new Christmas letter this year. Christmas letter <laughs> and a few people related to Johnny. <laughs> Dear judge. <laughs> Yes. made my you. year much 20 percent in the judgment the judge feels like a person that has been invited to a family dinner like a friend of a family that's been invited to a family dinner, <laughs> and they are having a huge drama because they, oh, oh okay all right yeah yes yeah it's no overruled all right yeah yeah or uh, okay <laughs> the, the, it's especially because the amber Heard team is so incompetent mm -hmm. that the judge is like what, what you want me to do? what what like what what's it, it's yeah it's really annoying. jeez jeez all right good stuff good stuff yeah. what else anything else um you have and then we can move on to the comments no but anybody knows the, are there any other celebrity legal stuff going on please let us know we would like to follow them too i'm trying to think well yeah I, there is yeah, yeah. i mean i know that is? elizabeth holmes um partner in crime he's on trial right now but eh, he's like at best like ah, a come on yeah d-level celebrity yeah um yeah not even any any yeah no not i mean maybe we should like yeah. maybe we should start rumors like <laughs> no. leonardo hey, whoa i don't want anybody to come Le leonardo <laughs> commits fraud he's been he's been hatching people <laughs> stealing them let's let's write let's try to write the opinion Ed, about so start something <laughs> well, what if they come after us uh... it's okay it will uh, it will raise our profile somewhat <laughs> it's better than like you know all no right news. should we move to perhaps some of these viewer comments yeah yeah and sure. wrap up the video i maybe. had one please oh please go ahead yeah, if you I have, yeah no i had one which i wanted to respond oh, to which okay, we, yeah. i'm sure we... yeah <laughs> so first i was really happy to see pony trotsky writing a message for us he's been mia for a long time and he just wrote popular opinion on all the small YouTube commentary channels. I like how he specified on all the small YouTube commentary oh. channels. Seems yeah. to be 100% depth. Hey, and what do you mean? <laughs> and people are getting really heated about it. They all seem convinced that Hurt is a malignant narcissist or something along that line. And many seem to know this, this personality type intimately. That part was interesting. I like that one. Seem to know this personality type intimately. So maybe it's really striking a chord for a lot of people as well yeah yeah i think so yeah i mean you look we've all had bad relationships yeah. so i mean for sure. I must, yeah, yeah so i did i don't like this like i don't want to you know diagnose people from yeah. far away but it does certainly seem she's not the better person in this relationship Based on what I've seen and heard so far, also seems okay. But let's see, the trial still isn't over, so yeah, yeah, maybe her testify, yeah. her testification, her, her testimony. Testif yeah, she hasn't even <laughs> has she, no, she's been on the stand though, right? Or not at all? Uh, I thought no, yeah. I thought no, no, not in this trial, yeah. not in this trial, at least I think. But um, next comment, just showing the overwhelming support again. Jane Johnny Depp was the victim. Full stop. Patricia Helena on the rat road. Look, Patricia's thing is funny, though. I don't get it. She looked, she wrote, look into the case before commenting. She accused him of domestic violence. He was actually abused by her. It is not funny. He has been acting since 1984. He is a really big deal. <laughs> I, I mean, so the, is, is, but isn't that the kind of stuff we were saying more or less? Like I, I, the, she, I, I think she objects to our somewhat glib tone about yeah. <laughs> it's not it is funny come on it is very funny i hey, mean it's sad for him but isn't comedy tragedy plus time yeah. so you know and it's going to hopefully improve his his life in the sense that you know it's going to ho hopefully improve his reputation regardless of sure sure of course if but if he wins yeah, or I not mean, yeah yeah if you take <laughs> but it, he's a really big deal he's, he's, he's a really big <laughs> I mean, so I'm not that Johnny big of a movie guy, Sam is, but I, yes, I've heard of Johnny that <laughs> <laughs> I knew he's. <laughs> so, yeah, just joking, Patricia, in case you haven't but, but, seen this too. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's a, she doesn't like the tone. That's yeah, perhaps. 
Not Bobby the cover. 357. So Sam, this is what you were looking to comment. That's the one, I yeah. I was... Bobby 357. Wait, Sam does not think that having a three-way with one's wife and bodyguard is weird, but revealing intimate details about your ex to a close friend is. Yes, I don't <laughs> understand what is the... what. He, and then you put, what do you put as a response? I come and see. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. I don't have... I'll tell you what I put. You, you, you give your response and I'll Sam, find it. Well, you put Sam equals... Yeah, I'm just... What did I say? Okay, if you remember, just say it. So I don't... Look, oh, here Sam I have it. Mr. Mr. Inconsistent. <laughs> it, what is inconsistent about anything... If there is, by the way, I find it so weird. Bobby always specified with one's wife and bodyguard. I'm just okay with threesome with any, like not just your bodyguard, just anyone. But like consent is the issue, isn't it? Like that's the main thing. Like if you share my personal information, yeah. that's wrong. But if we both engage in a you know sexual activity, both can like it's fine. Yeah, right. Am I wrong? I, yeah, I think I, I see. You no, know, I'm trying to break this down. I think you know. There Sam does no not think that having a three-way head, one's no. wife and bodyguard is weird, okay? But revealing intimate details about your ex isn't... Is that what Bobby wanted to say there, though, actually? Wait, the, Sam does not think that having a three-way one's wife and bodyguard is weird, but revealing... What? Oh, isn't, but revealing intimate details... Um, is. Yeah, I don't know. Having problem wrapping my head around this comment now. Why not? How, what? And then so, he says, it w- no, he says he, Sam doesn't have a problem with having a threesome with bodyguard and a yeah. wife, but he has a problem with revealing information about your ex to a close friend. Right? Okay, yeah. So, so he's yeah, saying I think... Sam is inconsistent. But I'm not inconsistent. No, no my apologies, constant... you're right. I, I hate, you are my <laughs> partner in this and you sold me down the river. Like, like a cheap whore. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yes. Jesus my bad. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, the no, consent, right. the issue is consent. And, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't fair, even I say that. The about... issue is they're not even that related. So, I mean. That too. That too. Yeah. yeah. I would say, yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. If it was so my like, apologies, again. sexual activity. Don't write an op-ed because I'll take you I, I am in <laughs> After two years of partnership, <laughs> I, I'm not going to name you specifically. I'm going to imply in my op-ed that you sexually uh, and physically <laughs> abused me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I am a lot of things, but I don't think I'm in cases. No, fair enough. Um, Sam Weston, next comment, nothing to do with you, wrote, Heard used Depp's well-publicized addictions against him, baited him, then filmed him when he reacted. She also used his generosity against him. Unforgivable. That That gets to the... Seems seems like truth. Yeah, that really gets to the... I mean, the filming and the audio... I mean, the audios and stuff are all... Yeah. Yeah, very much implied what he said is exactly... Mary Mason wrote, really appreciate this comment. You guys are different. And I told her, hopefully in a good way. So I appreciate it. Then finally, Sam, uh, I just wanted to show there are some bot comments, though. This is interesting. So William Thompson wrote, we all must honor and protect women, if, even if they lie, abuse, and beat men. Cut them, off, cut off their fingers and find clever ways of using the legal system to harm them. Amber gets paid a lot less than men in term in business. And being a lesbian in a straight woman's world is very stressful. Everything is John Depp's fault for not having the right gender. So this person was being sarcastic, right? And then you go sure. to the next one. Um, a, a horrent wrote literally word by word, letter by letter, the same exact comment. So I think this one is either being like copy pasted yeah. by people or <coughs> it's a but or, or I think maybe copy pasted by people. Yeah. Or just some that's true. really yeah, pro that Johnny Depp has... people uh, because yeah, Joe Rogan, I probably talked about how this, um, you know, they look, someone looked and like analyzed quickly, like the Twitter comments and they found that like the, the Amber Heard ones were like overwhelmingly bots. Oh, I forgot to double check, but something, 
am along those lines compared to the Johnny Depp lines. one. Yeah, c- c- yeah, I didn't double check as opposed to the Johnny Depp one. Something like that. See, the support for Johnny is <laughs> genuine, unlike those. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. oh, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I used to be, I genuinely used to be like people, why do they follow these news in the race wars going on and all that shit? But now I'm genuinely thinking it's much more like good for your mental health to follow this type of shit rather than just nonsense you can do anything about. That is true. That is true. Can we disagree with that? But um, okay, Sam. Any final comments? Any final words? No, no. But uh, forensic psychology, guys. Next <laughs> week we're gonna come back, revamped as a <laughs> half an hour legal show, half an hour forensic psycho. I don't know what forensic psychology is, yet, <laughs> but I am sure it's an exciting endeavor. It Very sounds fascinating. like it. It sounds like it. Yeah. But yeah, folks, please leave your comments, questions, criticisms down below. We'll make sure to get to them. I hope we weren't being too insensitive. Of course, uh, understand that for Johnny Depp and her both sides, financial, emotional, all kinds of, you know, harms were made. But earlier on, I was just kind of comparing it to other issues that, that we sometimes talk about or choose not to talk about. And I was kind of ranking it based on that. But anyway, please leave your comments, questions, criticisms down below. If not, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. Objection, you're on.